Hey everyone, so I decided to make an update video and uh, I'm just gonna do this while I'm taking my nail polish off because my life is a wreck and I have no time. But I wanted to do kind of like a secondary part to the last video I posted about um, this anger that I've been dealing with with my husband and stuff. Um, Last Friday, um, it kind of got to the point where, like, I was visibly upset. I mean, this has been, like, a month and a half of kind of, like, shit. Um, I was visibly upset up at the school, so some of the other moms were, like, talking to me and asking me what's wrong. And, you know, I'm just, like, telling everybody everything. And they're like, you know what? My husband's like that, too. Um, and this is, like so shocking to me because so like it was like a group of us like three of us waiting you know after waiting to get our kids and like oh yeah he comes home angry um starts yelling at the kids if they have their toys laying around and um like this is just something that bothers me. I'm like, how can, how, why, why are people like this? You know? Um, and why is it normal? Like, it shouldn't be. Like, it definitely shouldn't be. And maybe it just shows, like, how dysfunctional and how, like, asleep people of the world are. But I don't think this is good. Um... I make sure that my children are, I mean, it's like, it's hard, you know, you want, you lose your temper sometimes. And I have struggled with this. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect um, because I'm definitely not. But a few years back, um, when I believe I had PMDD, I didn't have an, like an official diagnosis or anything, but I do recall feeling that rage and that anger and just it's frustration, like, everything's piled up on you. Like I could totally feel that way right now. I can't keep up with my own nail polish. I can't keep up with my laundry. I can't keep up. Um, I'm like digging through clean piles of clothes cause I can't get it all folded and everybody's digging around for underwear. I mean, it is, it is a lot to keep up on. Plus try to work from home. Like it's just not happening. But I haven't been losing my temper. I haven't been losing it. I recognized that that had happened to me. I recognized that I was acting like that without anyone having to tell me, you know. I just knew how I felt and I didn't want to feel like that anymore. And that's when I started looking into um, what could be wrong and what can help it. And I think what can help people is going to be different for each person, but um, what really helps me, what helped me in the past was um, using the Thrive patches. Those really kept me calm, cool, collected, um, and then kind of crossing over to using CBD oil. So, you know, and then it's like I still have a few days of the month, like right before my cycle, where I notice that I get a little more irritable than usual, but I don't full on rage anymore. Like, and I cannot have it around me. It's just not good. And like, you know, I just wonder if, if this is such a normal thing for guys to be like, um, why, you know, why is that? Okay. Why do you think it's okay to yell at your kids or your wife? Like, I am not your verbal punching bag, okay? You want to respect your mother. You want to respect your boss. You want to respect people out in public, but you can't respect me. You can't respect the woman that you say that you love. I mean, this is, this is kind of like a make or break big deal. Um... So I have asked him to leave the house. He's been gone about two weeks. Um, we have separation with the hopes of being able to work the marriage out. 
However, it's like every time I set him up to be like that good guy that comes through, he's like taking that chance, disappointing me and kind of ruining it. So I hadn't seen him in about four days. And uh, he took the baby overnight, like had a sleepover at Grammy's house. It was a super fun time. They had a great time. Um, he ended up coming back here to bring him back to me and said, hey, I want to stay and bathe our son. And then after the kids go to sleep, um, I'll give you a foot rub or something. I'm like, well, okay, that sounds good. You know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, let's hope this is the case, you know. Um, so it kind of went okay, and how we kind of do our bedroom uh, bedtime routine is I have three little kids, so two of them are school age, and then obviously the little one is just little. So I have him take the little one upstairs to the bedroom, do his uh, reading books, lay down with him, get him to sleep. So while he's getting the littlest one to sleep, I am reading books to the other two, making sure they're getting their showers, brushing teeth, all that. Um, and then by the time that the, the littlest one is all the way asleep, I can then bring the other two upstairs to fall asleep without any distractions. Because when you lay all three of them down at the same time, it's... Too much bouncing around too much trouble you know it just it's really hard to do and I do have to do that sometimes um, when he's not around and that's been it's been a challenge but I mean it hasn't been that bad like um, you just have to be patient and it's hard to sometimes I mean they're all you know oh, can I have a drink of water can you go get me this oh I gotta pee again um, you know, and I put oils, like I put essential oils on under their feet, and I just kind of like tuck them all in and just be very calm, and I try to just be like very loving, so oh, I hope you had a great day, you know, let's have sweet dreams, and do that whole like comforting thing to them, and so that's how we do that. Um, last night... As he was bringing my son back, apparently he let him take a nap on the ride home, which is like anybody who has kids knows that if you let a kid sleep past like 4 p.m., even if it's for 10 minutes, you're pretty much screwed on bedtime. Um, he got back home. It was fun. Like everybody's comparing candy. You know, it's good time, whatever. Spend a little time together. Um, my daughter offered to give him a Kool-Aid jammer, and he ended up opening it up. Maybe took one sip and I took it away and I said, these are for morning time. You don't have them before bed. Let's put it away. Literally maybe took one sip. So after about an hour and 20 minutes of me reading to my other two kids, I'm thinking like, it's getting late. Um, I just need to put these kids in bed. I want to get a shower. You know, I was thinking maybe that they both fell asleep or something. So I'm like, okay. Um... Let's go ahead. It's so much better lighting in here, doesn't it? Gosh, I look way better than I did in there. Oh, not anymore. Oh, scary. Um, so, um, what was I getting at? Okay, yeah. So then I go upstairs real quiet. I have the other kids kind of tiptoe up. I'm like, let's be quiet just in case he's, you know, almost asleep or whatever. Um, so I come into the room and I see, okay, he's still laying there. They're both still laying there. The baby's awake. I'm like, but at this point, like, I just have to tuck them all in. They have school and we got to be like, Hey, it's bedtime, you know? So he gets up out of the bed and is like, this is some bullshit. I have better shit to do than fucking do this shit. And I'm like, okay, then you need to go. Like before it started a big argument, I said, get out of here. I will handle it. Go downstairs. So he goes downstairs. I just shut my door and I'm like trying to just be very calm to all of them. Um, kind of get everybody re-tucked in and you know, that whole thing. And then like right as I like just get them all tucked and um, like I'm about ready to get up off the bed and just trust and hope 
that they just fall asleep. He barges into my room and is like, you know what? You know fucking what? Maybe he would have been asleep if your daughter hadn't given him a Kool-Aid jammer. And I'm like, like my kids were all like, like calm down. And then he busts into my room yelling like that. I'm like, oh, no, you don't. I had to like get him out of my room. I said, don't you ever dare come up here when I am mothering my children and putting them to bed and bring that anger into my space with my kids. And he didn't want to listen. He wanted to stand there like, no, da, da, da. you know, just, I don't know why. I don't know why he just rages out and I'm literally sitting there like being calm, cool, collected, trying to just get my kids calm and uh he he just busts in and then like I got him to go downstairs and then I hear him out in the hallway just screaming like he's got a very deep like just not like yelling but just so much anger coming out and I do not want that into my house. I do not want that put into me. I swear it started it, it started making me shake again. Um, it was, it was not okay. I had to get up from where I was with my kids again, go out to the hall again, because I came back and I said, you know, I said, it's not okay when someone yells at you like that. I want you to know that, like, um, that's not how we treat people. I'm very sad right now. And I had to like, just kind of be a little bit real with them, like, um, mommy's a little sad right now because it hurts me when I'm yelled at and I don't want to be yelled at and I don't want anybody yelling at you. Um, I need to get my shower. Can you please go to sleep now? You know, and I had to go downstairs and I'm like, get out of my house right now. Um, the way you treat me is absolutely unacceptable and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And he left, slammed the door, and then like, you know, revs his engine all hard and like peels out. And I'm just like, I, I don't understand where this is coming from. I know that he can deal with it. I know that it's very possible to clear it and to heal. I know that it's possible. The only thing that's holding him back from healing from this is the fact that I don't know if he notices what he does or not. And he's never once apologized when he has blowups like that. I have never heard the words, I'm sorry, come out of his mouth. And he texted me something and I said, I think you're an absolute monster. The way that you treat me is completely unacceptable. Don't text me anymore. I said, do not text me anymore. We need to, um, I just have to, I have to have some space right now from you. This is just not okay. Um, so then this morning he texts me and says, I'm going to go try to find some pumpkins. I think we should carve pumpkins tonight and I'm going to bring you some food. So I don't know what to do, you know, I'm like, okay, can I hope that we have a nice time? And then if he starts flipping the fuck out that I just send him to leave. I mean, yeah, I want, I want an involved man. Like it is not easy job being a mother of six. There's a lot to do. I don't feel like it's fair for him to kind of get out of doing everything. But on the other hand, when it becomes um, negative, then he's got to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a hard situation. Um, a few days ago when 
he hadn't been there for a couple days. I've been handling everything myself, you know. Um, my kids, sorry, this lighting was so good. I didn't want to walk into the other light. So, you can, like, ugly in one lighting and not so bad in the other. But I'm doing things. Um, my kids were like, hey, why isn't Chris here, you know? And I'm like, well, you know, he gets kind of mad. And I don't, you know, I don't need that around. And they're like, well... That's okay. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're, I'm like, doesn't it doesn't it um, make you feel sad if you hear somebody yelling or something? I'm like, doesn't it? I'm like, I don't want you guys to feel uncomfortable, you know? I'm like, when he's in the kitchen watch, washing dishes and you hear him, like, getting mad that there's food on dishes and stuff, I'm like, there's no reason for that, you know? And they're like, oh, we don't, we don't care. We miss him. We like it better when he's here. He's funny. So, like, there's two different perspectives there. There's the kid's perspective, and then there's me as the grown-up trying to protect my kids, but not knowing, like, is this normal? I don't think it is. And if it is normal, I don't want to be normal. I want to be abnormal. I want love and happiness and patience. And I've explained, I said, when you come into this house, you have an energy, and you can choose what energy that you are spreading, so we could share a little story about the person who got knocked over and spilled the coffee, okay? You know the story, the person's standing there and they got coffee in their cup and somebody knocks into them, okay? Somebody knocks into them and they spill coffee. And they say, well, why did you spill the coffee? And they said, because this person knocked into me. And they said, no. You spilt coffee because that's what's in your cup. Coffee's in your cup. So when life shakes you around, what's inside comes out. Well, it's up to you to figure out what's going to be inside of your cup. Because regardless, life is going to shake you up. Life is going to, you know, uh, it's going to test you. It's going to make you, like, shake up. Say, cut me open, motherfucker, because I bleed magic and love. But yeah, um, if you're holding anger inside of you and somebody knocks into you, then you are spewing anger and hate. And it is getting everywhere inside of your family, inside of wherever you are. And it's not acceptable. And I say absolutely no to bad negative vibes so that's what's going on now I think I'm gonna go ahead and give him the chance to uh, carve pumpkins cause, like damn sure definitely can't handle that by myself um, and I do want a happy family time I just hope it stays a happy family time and um, yeah I'll just keep updating everyone on that but yeah sound off in the comments uh, if you ever dealt with somebody who's got severe anger issues or whatever else, um, tips and tricks to help anyone. Um, I'm always looking for better and not even better, but like just more ways. Like stuff that helps me is meditation, yoga, CBD, essential oils, um, the Thrive Patches. So... Um, yeah, well, I just hope everybody has a great day and thanks to all my followers who watch my videos and I just hope that uh, what I say resonates with somebody and I can help somebody along the way. Bye.